Toby's toys teach a lesson in love and attention. Toby's bedroom, usually a place of joy and laughter, became a stage for an unexpected revelation. One quiet evening, his toys sprung to life, each voicing feelings of neglect and abandonment. Toby, unknowingly, had left more than just toys in the corner, he left behind friends yearning for his attention. The toys convened, a colorful and diverse assembly, each sharing stories of happier times. They spoke of sorrow, not just for themselves, but for Toby too. They missed the adventures, the laughter, and most importantly, the warmth of being cherished. One night, Toby, tiptoeing for a midnight snack, overheard the soft murmurs of his toys. Their words of loneliness and yearning struck him profoundly. For the first time, Toby saw beyond their stitched smiles and painted eyes to their longing hearts. In a quiet, heartfelt moment, Toby and his oldest toy, a bear worn from years of love and play, sat down. The bear, with a voice of gentle reproach, shared his feelings of neglect, revealing a depth of emotion Toby had never contemplated. The revelation stirred a change in Toby. His favorite toy, a bright red fire truck, confessed its guilt for monopolizing Toby's attention. This confession sparked an assembly among the toys, determined to address the imbalance of affection within their small, felt hearts. Toby stumbled upon a playful intervention, his room transformed into a scene right out of a toy's dream. His once silent companions now staged a silent protest, their positions and expressions meticulously arranged to show their feelings of neglect. Amid the sea of toys, Toby's oldest toy held a banner, its fabric woven with words of longing for attention. This heart-to-heart -heart without words opened Toby's eyes to the depth of feelings his toys harbored, feelings of being left out and forgotten. The intervention took a turn when Toby's favorite toy, usually basking in his undivided attention, expressed guilt through a note. This sparked a gathering, a toy assembly where each toy was given a voice, a chance to share its tale of solitude. That night, Toby's dreams were vivid and enlightening. His toys came to life, not in protest, but in guidance, teaching him invaluable lessons on empathy and sharing. It was a magical journey through dreamscapes where toys articulated desires for equal affection and understanding. The dream led to a quest the next morning, spurred by the mysterious disappearance of a beloved toy. Toby's search unveiled not just the hidden corners of his room, but the consequences of his neglect, piecing together the puzzles of care and affection. Toby found himself in the most unusual situation, a trial by his toys in a whimsical courtroom. They accused him of neglect, teaching him a valuable lesson on fairness and the importance of paying attention to all his toys equally. In response, the toys crafted the heartfelt letter to Toby. Through their words, they expressed feelings of being overlooked, hoping to bridge the gap between them. This letter became a catalyst for Toby to see his actions through their eyes. Motivated by the letter, Toby organized a toy tea party. It was a chance for each toy to voice its feelings. This gathering was not just about tea, it was a step towards mending the bond between Toby and his toys. Among the toys, a wise old one stood out. It told tales of past joy and the importance of inclusivity. These stories reminded Toby of the joy his toys brought him, highlighting the value of cherishing every one of them. The toys then created a playful educational game to teach Toby about caring and sharing. This game was not only fun but also a lesson in empathy, showing Toby how his actions affected those around him, even if they were just toys. Toby stumbled upon an enchanted toy mirror, a gift from his grandmother, hidden beneath layers of dust. As he gazed into it, the mirror began to reflect not just his face but his actions towards his toys. It revealed scenes of neglect, where once cherished toys were now forgotten in corners, and the joy they used to bring him was overshadowed by new distractions. This magical mirror served as a wake-up call for Toby, showing him the consequences of his inattention. Realizing the depth of his oversight, Toby found inspiration in his bedtime storybook, which tonight seemed to come alive. The characters, much like his toys, spoke of friendship, attention, and the warmth of being cared for. They advised Toby on the importance of valuing those who are always there for him, even if they are just toys. This magical encounter in the realm of stories underscored the lessons the mirror had begun to teach. The next day, Toby witnessed a toy's breakdown. A cherished action figure, once his constant companion on countless adventures, now lay inoperable. This breakdown was more than mechanical, it was a manifestation of Toby's neglect. It dawned on him that care and maintenance extended beyond the physical. Each toy was a keeper of memories, and by neglecting them, he was disregarding the very essence of his childhood. Motivated to make amends, Toby initiated a Toy of the Day rotation. 
Each day, one toy would be highlighted, played with, and placed on a special shelf in his room. This not only ensured that every toy felt valued and loved, but it also allowed Telby to reconnect with each toy's unique story and the joy they brought him. It was a simple yet profound way to show his appreciation and to make up for lost time. During a session of pretend play, Toby decided to let his toys act out scenarios of feeling ignored. This playtime transformed into an enlightening experience as Toby personified each toy, giving them voices to express their feelings of being left out. This exercise in empathy opened Toby's eyes to the importance of inclusivity and attention. It was a playful yet powerful reminder that every toy, just like every friend, needs to feel cherished and heard. Toby embarked on a thoughtful mission, creating personalized storage spaces for each of his toys. This act of kindness was his way of acknowledging their uniqueness and worth. Every nook was designed with love, ensuring his toys felt valued and cherished. This journey of realization culminated in a heartwarming reunion where Toby and his toys celebrated their newfound understanding and respect for one another. It was a joyous occasion, marking the beginning of a deeper, more meaningful relationship between a boy and his beloved toys.